welcome to Tibra's Den. My name is Whitney and welcome to another Cast Monday. We are on week three of our Zodiac series. If you haven't been following along, I'll leave the videos linked in the description below as well as at the end of this video. But we've already done in week one, we did the Western Astrology Zodiac sign of Aries along with their Chinese Zodiac twin which is the year of the dragon. So we created those guys week one as along with their house. And then last week we created the first house of primal zodiacs under the sign of Aries. And what primal zodiacs are, they combine your Western astrology sign with your Chinese zodiac sign and it combines them together. So I will leave all the information linked in the description below where I got my information. I'm going to be reading like the description of these guys and that's all linked in the description below. So if you want to learn more or you kind of want to peek ahead to your Primal Zodiac, definitely check it out. The playlist for these videos is also linked in the description below as well as at the end of this video. And that way, if you haven't seen the previous videos, you can check those out as well. I kind of explain a little bit more about what we're doing, as well as about primal zodiacs and such um, in those videos. So definitely check those out. And of course, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification and like this video as well. So today we are doing the first two for our second house uh, for the primal zodiac series. And... Uh, that's because, of course, there's 12 zodiacs, and unfortunately, you can only have eight sims in the house. So we're going to have three total builds, uh, and we've already done the first two, and so we're working on, like I said, the characters, the sims for the last house, and then that will be at the end, um, the last Friday before we go on to the primal zodiac, or not the primal zodiac, the western zodiac of Taurus. So... Um, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see here, we are working on Gan Gorilla. And so Gorillas, it's the, of course, the sign of Aries combined with the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Monkey. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and read the little description about Gorillas. Like I said, this is, the website is linked in the description below in case you want to learn more and check it out. So it says, those born under the primal zodiac sign of gorilla are defined by their big energy. They are show stillers by design, outgoing, energetic, and clever. They are usually cheerful and enjoy being the life of the party. That said, gorillas are also egotistical and their aggressive desire for attention can become overwhelming to others. Bars and pubs are places that gorillas like to frequent. Members of the sign tend to enjoy consuming alcohol in social situations, but aren't always the nicest drunks. They are happy when all eyes are on them, but if ignored, they can be pouty and mean. Gorilla is a very active sign. They enjoy physical activity and express themselves best through physical outlets. This is so true for members of the sign that if they don't get enough physical activity, they can become depressed and angry. If this happens, everyone around them will know it. Gorillas don't bother hiding their emotions, which actually suits them well since they often just need to get whatever is bother bothering them out. They need to be careful not to stay in a funk for too long though, as these moods amplified by their natural energy, can easily drive away those around them. Debi despite their tendency to be outgoing and social, gorillas also show an analytical side in their careers. They are good problem solvers, and as long as they stay interested, this side of them can really shine in their careers. And it goes on to talk, you know, about different careers that are good for them. Um, and the other things that stood out was a job that keeps them moving both physically and mentally works well with their endless energy. Uh, one of those can be like an urban planner and they're also good like in maybe cell negotiations as well. So for Gan here, her name means the bold one and I decided to make her a civil designer uh, going under the civil planner branch just because for some reason that made me think closest to the urban planner and I can see her you know going out and trying to get people you know amped up um about different you know maybe products and things that can help make the world a bit greener and things like that you can see with her look I went with a lot of loud colors and this is true throughout 
most of her looks. You know, I say most because her cold weather look is not quite as bold as her other looks. But that's just because they're you know showstoppers and they have big energy and they really like attention. So I really felt like bold colors and loud colors uh, were the way to go with this sim. And you can see I gave her the party animal aspiration since she does. They do, the girls do enjoy, you know, social situations and being the life of the party, things like that. I gave her that aspiration and then traits are outgoing. I gave her the dance machine trait um, and then she's also a little bit self-absorbed as well. They like the attention and everything and so she's definitely going to fish for compliments, things like that. And so I like that trait for her as well. But yeah, that's the gorilla. Some famous gorillas are Ashley Judd, Patricia Arquette, Celine Dion, Lucy Lawless, Kenny Chesney, uh, Diana Ross, Debbie Reynolds, Louis Lamore, Renee Descartes, and Leonardo da Vinci were all famous um, gorillas. So you'll have to let me know if you are a gorilla down in the comments below. Like I said, it does combine Aries with the year of the monkey so um but yeah this is who we're working on and i really like her style again not something i would normally do like not anywhere near my personal comfort zone when it comes to style i prefer very muted colors i don't like being the center of attention i'm definitely not a gorilla um i'm actually a earthworm which combines virgo with the year of the rabbit so um, that's my primal zodiac sign, and we have quite a ways to go before we get there. Um, but yeah, I don't, you know, this is, this is very far, and you know, somebody like this, like, I would admire their energy and their, how outgoing and vibrant they are, but definitely not somebody I could necessarily keep up with, and I could even see myself being friends with necessarily um, but this is her formal look and I went back and forth on her formal look a lot which you can tell I've already kind of gone back and forth and I even change it from here again like this is not what I keep I actually like this look I like the pants and I like the top but um, it, it is a lot or maybe this is where I end I can't quite remember remember now but I did go back and forth a lot with her formal look um, I like the pink pants and I like you know how bold this top is uh, I know I changed the shoes I, okay so I do keep these pants because uh, I wanted the pink pants but some of the others like the pink the darker pink top with that was a bit too much and then I do change the shoes just so it kind of you know you have black pink and then black again because uh, I like stacking like that personally when I'm doing different styles uh, I don't like one color on top of another unless I'm doing all one look and this is her workout outfit again I went back and forth like I really like this top but I didn't like how it looked with any of the bottoms that I found like I like the swatch of this top um, you know the the different colors I think it's it's pretty cool and it's definitely very very bold but once I chose these shorts I actually go with a different top I just didn't quite like how they look together and so I end up changing to like a, a more sports bra top uh, that matches the shorts and, the, and then of course the shoes uh, so this is probably one of the most matchy matchy of all her looks um, but but yeah, I, I like the original top for its boldness, but it just, I didn't like how it looked with any of the bottoms. I guess I could have gone with more like a black bottom um, to kind of balance it out like I did for her formal look. But in the end, I decided to go with this. And so she has like the sports bra and then the shorts along with the shoes that match, which I think is pretty cool. I do actually give her a full face of makeup and jewelry for this look. I think she would take working out seriously, but she's also <laughs> the type of woman that can work out with like a full face of makeup and earrings and jewelry and such and be completely fine. Um, you know, she might just need to touch up a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That was just in my mind for her, so I, I went with it. Uh, like I said, she definitely, I think, likes the attention and such, so she would... She would always probably have her her makeup on 
except when she was sleeping in bed. So this is a custom content piece for her sleepwear that you just saw, and I think it was really cute, and I just liked it for her, so I decided to go with it. This is her party look. Um, I actually stick with this one. I try on a few others, but I go back to the shiny one. I do try to use outfits that I wouldn't normally use if I think it works for the sim character I'm creating. I am trying to utilize different outfits a little bit more and not be so stuck in the same rut. And that's what part of the reason why I'm enjoying the Primal Zodiac series so much. Like, I've already actually completed all of the Aries Zodiacs. Um, and it's just a good source of inspiration. You got different personalities. And then I'm also trying to incorporate, like, the animal sign that is part of their zodiac sign. So, you know, Gorilla, I gave her, like, the straw, the straw, the strong, not straw, the strong brow bones. <laughs> I mean, trouble talking today. Um, but I did give her the strong brow bones, you know, and just very strong facial features as well. Um, so I'm kind of incorporating that while still creating, like, an actual sim, um, that, that looks a little bit more realistic as a person. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun look that I would never in a million years use. It's not my favorite, but I think it really, really suits her well. And then I give her the matching hat there, which I think looks really cool with this outfit. And then I love how her earrings peek out beneath her hair as well. So, uh, she was a lot of fun to create. Like I said, very, very different than my personal comfort or style or anything like that. Um, but I definitely think it works well for the sim and she's just very vibrant and fun, which is great. And I really, when I was playtesting, I had a, a lot of fun, you know, um, she was dancing around and, and things like that. So she's, she's a pretty cool sim and I really enjoyed creating her and I think she's going to be a lot of fun to have in my world. I don't know how much I'm going to actually play with her, but I can see her, you know, being friends with some of the sims that I will be playing and things like that. So she's, she's a good addition to my world is my point. This is her swimwear look again. Um, very bold, kind of a uh, bold color and cut there on the swimsuit. And then I do give her a full face of makeup again. Uh, I do see her going in the water and swimming, but not necessarily getting her face wet. Uh, she's probably the type of woman that just kind of goes you know, up to her waist or whatever, uh, and kind of keeps her, her hair and her face out of the water, but either way, I still think, like, she would go with the makeup, and if it comes off, she would just touch it up afterwards, uh, and probably use, uses a lot of, uh, makeup that is waterproof and things like that, so she doesn't have to worry about it quite as much, but she definitely loves her makeup and, and loves the attention it gets her, so I see her, see her wearing that for sure. And so, even though normally, like, a athletic look and swimwear look and things like that, I try not to put makeup on because it's not as realistic. For this sim, I, f I thought it suited, so that's why I went with that. And then, of course, we got to put on some nails uh, to go with her outfit. I definitely see her always having her nails done as well. And then some earrings that are going to peek out as well. I give her a lot of hoops for, the for her looks. Um... I see her as a, a hoop wearer for sure. <laughs> she's just she's just so vibrant. I love her to pieces. But uh, yeah, that's her swimwear and of course some glasses to go along with that. And now we are on to her hot weather look. And the barrette there was added automatically. It's a custom content piece and I actually really like it. And I didn't mean to leave it in, but I did and I think it works just fine. Um, for her hot weather, again, jumped around quite a bit. I actually decided to go with this top here. Kind of reference back to her everyday look to see kind of what I did. I like to keep a similar vibe for the hot weather look. Uh, sometimes I go a little bit more casual, um, but sometimes I go with a very similar vibe. And so that's kind of what I was looking for for this. And so I actually go with this top here. And then I think I ended up going with some... Capri, or no, I went with the skirt. I was going to go with the capris, these ones here. I thought that looked really, really good. But then I came across the, I think it's Island Living skirt. 
Um, you'll see it here in a second. This one here. Okay, no, it's not Island Living. What is that? Get Together? Um, but yeah, I like this skirt. I thought it was cute and it adds a little bit more flair than just the capris. And so I decided to go with, with this skirt here. And then with it being in white, you know, it kind of balances out that dark blue as well. And then just going through a, a bunch of shoes trying to find ones that I like. I have all these custom content shoes, but I don't like how it looks on the the top part of the leg. I tried to use them several times and I'm just not quite feeling the way it looks, but I ended up going with these um, sandal heels here uh, for the look. It, it matches the top and I think it works. Works nicely. And then of course some more nails. As always we gotta have the nails. And her makeup's actually pretty good here. I do give her some earrings that are peeking out again. Um, and I think I give her sunglasses for this look as well. I definitely see her as somebody who likes her glasses. Um, but of course I gotta play with her makeup a little bit. I didn't do too much with her makeup. I think I just changed the eyeshadow a little bit. Um, and then adjusted her lipstick, but it's really not that different from her previous looks, honestly. Like, uh, you, you could hardly tell that I changed anything at all. Um, but yeah, I really liked her, and I tried to do something a little different, but, uh, kind of same, same vibe, and back to the glasses. Like I said, I definitely see her rocking those shades, so now we are on to her cold weather look, which, like I said, is not quite as bold, and that's just because all the styles that had bold colors, I didn't like. I didn't like the style, I liked the colors, but I didn't like the style for her, and then the jacket I went with, I like the style, but all the bold colors weren't quite my cup of tea or hers. Like, I think there was too many clashing colors. Um, like, so I go with this puffy jacket here, but like they have, you know, like the rainbow and then, um, they have some of the other bold colors, but they also have other colors mixed in and I just didn't really like it. And honestly, I think it works because I think for this sim, she probably gets a little bit of seasonal depression. Um, and so she's not quite as vibrant in the wintertime. And I think that's just because there's less social activities to do. Like, yeah, you can still go to bars and such, but um, the weather definitely plays a factor in how many people come out and things like that. And so it's just not as social in the winter and I think that definitely wears on her and so I definitely see her having a little bit of seasonal depression and maybe that shows in her fashion sense as well. I like these boots here. I don't keep them. I wish I had because I think they work well with this outfit um, but I actually go with a different pair of boots. They're kind of slouchy. There are several boots that I really liked and I think would have worked um, well for this outfit but in the end, the ones I went with are perfectly fine. There's just several pairs that I like a little bit better. And I almost wish I had used these being one of them. I think these are really cute and work well with this outfit. These are another pair that I think are fine. And I actually go with these pair here. Um, but yeah, that's her cold weather look. Like I said, definitely not near as bold. I think the style is similar to... Some of her other styles, like very form-fitting and kind of shows off her body um, and very kind of fashionable and put together, but not as bold in color as her other styles. I do give her gloves. I see her as somebody who would maybe get a little cold and so would wear gloves. In, and then back up to, of course, her makeup, which this is probably the most different in looks as well. I give her... Um, like a tan eyeshadow to kind of match the outfit so it's not quite as bold as some of her other looks and the lipstick's pretty similar but um definitely like I said not, her overall look for winter is not near as bold as some of her her other looks uh and so but again I, I just think it, it kind of fits like I see her maybe getting a little bit of seasonal depression and, and things like that so um, but yeah, I really like her. Oh, I actually went with a nude lip. I thought, okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm all, I don't even remember what I did. But I, for a second, I thought I was going to go with that nude lip. And I thought, I, 
I thought I had red lip, but I didn't. So, but anyway, that is Gan. Let me know what you think of her. Let me know if you are a gorilla as well. Um, and if the description kind of fits your personality. So now we are on to Geffer Goldfinch. And his name means invincible, unconquerable, and undefeatable. And so let me go ahead and read his description. And this is the sign of Aries, of course, combined with the... Uh, year of the rooster. So, uh, one thing that will never be said about a goldfinch is that they lack self-confidence. Members of this primal zodiac sign are overflowing with confidence, a trait that helps them succeed far beyond anyone else's expectations. There is a mysterious power in these people that stems from their firm self-belief. It is even said in ancient mythology that the evil and powerful half-bird, half-woman creature... Uh, creatures, the harpies, feared the goldfinch for what they might be able to do. Goldfinches are great at making friends and love being part of social situations. They are highly active and energetic, which sometimes plays at odds with their tendency to want things organized and clean. Members of the sign expect things to go their way, and because of this, they often do. When they don't get their way, way their dark side comes out and they become selfish, arrogant, bossy, and aggressive. Goldfinches don't worry much about other people's feelings, so getting them back on course is difficult. Luckily, the goldfinch likes to feel good so they won't stay in a funk for long. And then it goes on again to talk about different career choices that they can make. They have a lot of confidence and it helps them succeed at most tasks. Um, and then, you know, they need to focus and balance between what they want to do and what they're best at. They don't like education. And so it, it said that one of the top career choices for this is cells um, because of the confidence and energy they have. Uh, and they also have like a uh, organized and analytical science sk skills as well. Um, and a little bit of sense of venture, which just goes along with the Aries. But for him, I actually made him a retail employee. Uh, and that's just sells like I and the energy level that he has. I can see him, you know, really enjoying that and you know helping people dress their best and, you know, maybe even like um, a personal stylist type thing. Um, but that's what I decided to give him. He's the friend of the world, is for his aspiration. He is self assured, neat, and outgoing. And so I tried to really combine all of that into his different styles. Uh, and so he, his looks are very fashionable and put together, and that's kind of what I was going for. For color-wise, I ch did a lot of, like, yellows, browns, and oranges, uh, and that just kind of went w along with, with a goldfinch and kind of what I picture for them. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy creating him as well, and he's probably one of the male sims I took the longest to create. Generally, my male sim, when I'm, I'm doing their outfits and stuff, it goes a lot faster, but for him, I spent a lot of time, you know, trying to get the outfits right and stuff. So even though he's not wearing makeup and things like that, it was still a lot of back and forth, you know, trying to find the right outfit and then incorporate the right shoes and everything like that that matched the outfit. And You'll see later on, but there's actually a couple outfits that are very matchy-matchy. And I, I see him having matching sets of things as well. Um, and there's actually a little spoiler th that... Well, not a spoiler because you guys are going to have to wait. But I want you to make sure you do watch the next two videos because he... Well, actually, there is a spoiler at the end of this video. I'm not going to say what it is, um, but one of the screenshots, you catch the spoiler that I'm talking about, and it has to do with another member of this household. So definitely stay till the end and make sure you have subscribed and you do hit the bell notification so you are notified when the other videos go on because it involves one of the other members of the household and I will be talking more about it when we create that member of the household. So we are on to his formal look and this is one of the ones that I went very very matchy matchy. The hardest part about this was finding the right shoes. Um, some of the 
the shoes just color wise didn't quite match with what I was going for uh, with with this outfit and so I was trying to get the the right look the right style and then a color that worked with the outfit itself because it's kind of like this goldy brown color um, so that was kind of hard to to find the right the right piece here um, so you can see I went through all the different shoes and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth but yeah I think he's really cute so I ended up going with these higher shoes here or boots or whatever you want to call them and then I do give him some socks to kind of fill in that gap and then we are on to his athletic look and I don't think he necessarily takes working out as seriously like he has a lot of energy and he's constantly like moving around and such but as far as like actually working out I don't see him as a sim that would would necessarily do that like he might work out with his friends or something like that but it's not something he would generally gravitate to on his own and so for his top I went with this top here because I could see it being you know maybe like a a more expensive high-end fashion piece with the different designs on it and then I just went with basic pants that kind of tied in the red from the top and then the shoes tie in the yellow and the orange from the top as well. And I almost kept this hat. I debated whether I wanted to keep the hat or not. I changed it to orange and then, I don't know, it just didn't have the right vibe for him. Uh, and then I do give him a watch for this look. I think if he's going to he's gonna work out, he's going to kind of do it right, you know. So he has a, has a watch where he can track things and, and, and whatnot. So now we are on to his sleepwear. Uh, again, kind of debated what I wanted to do, but I decided to go with this robe. And it's kind of put together and neat and, again, a little bit more fashionable than some of the other options for the sleepwear. So that's what I decided to go with for his sleepwear. And now we are on to his party look, which was another one that I went very matchy-matchy with. Um, and there was actually a lot of good options, and I kind of debated, like, this... Sh top here I think could have worked for a party look for him uh, I liked how it actually looks more like fur than feathers but I like the gold and red I thought that looked pretty cool um, but I decided not to use that and I actually go with this top here um, I like the scarf with it and the vest and there's actually matching pants which I didn't know until I was going through um, and looking at the different pants and I found them and I thought perfect well, that's exactly kind of what I was looking for for him. I think it definitely suits his character very well. And now we are on to, of course, the shoes, which, again, are the hardest part. Um, and I actually found the right pair of shoes quicker than I did for his formal look. But this is a, these are the shoes I decided to go with. And then, again, just some socks to kind of fill in the space a little bit as well. And the socks match his top. So... Really like that. And you can see he wears a lot of rings and such. Like I see him as as a sim that definitely wears some jewelry. And now we are on to his swimwear. Nothing too fancy. I mean, swimwear is kind of hard to get fancy anyway. Um, so I went with those shorts there that you see. I decided to go ahead and give him a necklace. And then I definitely see him rocking some shades as well. And for his hot weather look, I uh, went a little bit more casual with his hot weather look. Um, and I did just like a collared shirt and some shorts, like nothing too, too fancy there. So I go with this shirt here. I like the designs on this. Again, something maybe he, he got out of the store he works in or something like that. Uh, and then just some basic shorts, like nothing too over the top with this look, but I don't see him being the type to wear like tank tops or anything like that. Uh, so that's why I went with just this short sleeved button up shirt here. Still kind of very put together. I did give him sandals. Um, I think, you know, it's it's summer. Why not? So, uh, and then some shades in his hair this time. But that's his hot weather look. And now we are on to his cold weather look. Which, again, nothing too fancy. I just tried to go with a look that was kind of... Still put together, um, not too bulky or anything like that. I don't see him the type of sim to wear like big bulky jackets or anything like that. So I actually went with this top here, which again, it has the scarf, which I think is something he would really like. I see him being the type of sim that does like to accessorize 
a little bit, and then I do give him some gloves. Um, I went with like this more red color to kind of match the one shirt underneath. Uh, and then I do give him a hat as well. I kind of debated which hat I wanted to go with. I think this would have been a good style for him, but I decided to go with this beanie here in the end. Uh, and I still think it works and he looks, he looks very nice and put together, but those are his looks. Um, I'm just going to run through them all again real quick to just refresh you on what we did. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. And we will see you on Friday for the next set of Sims. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification and like this video. And have a great week, guys. Bye.